We talk a lot in the video marketing world about attracting your ideal clients, and there's a lot of truth in that idea. Putting yourself on camera can make all the difference. You don't need me to tell you that. But there's a darker side that we don't hear about very much. And in that darkness, there's danger, especially for your business. In a moment, how trying to do the right thing might be killing you on camera, and even worse, hurting your business. And of course, what to do instead. Imagine you've been invited to dinner at your friend's home, and as you open that nice bottle of Malbec you just brought, you launch into a sales pitch for your latest self-awareness program, only $97 a month, tax included. Your host stops stirring the spaghetti sauce and looks up at you in complete shock. She's trying to figure out what happened to her friend and who let the salesman in. Needless to say, the dinner is strained, and by the way, the sale didn't get made. Hi, I'm Stephen Washer with BrainyVideo.com. What I'm going to talk about is, quite frankly, not going to win me many new friends. But maybe by the time I'm finished here, you'll see the method in the madness. What I'm talking about is the desire that many entrepreneurs have to make friends of their customers instead of giving them what they need. Now, this tendency seems to be strongest among those who don't really like the idea of marketing. So the question is, why do they hate marketing themselves or their service? Well, they often tell me it's because they see a lot of people acting like, well, okay, let's just say certain patterns of disingenuous behavior in certain online marketers, and they don't want to be like that. Heh, no argument. I see that every day. But I don't think in most cases that that's the real reason they don't market themselves. I think it's because of this belief. Friends don't market to friends. They don't want to sell over a glass of Malbec. They want to have friends. And if they make some money along the way, well, that's okay. But as you saw before, making friends when you should be developing clients or doing the opposite, which happens a lot more than you might think, that's a recipe for disaster, both for you and your client. It's bad for your client because it keeps you from making the recommendations they need to get the most out of working with you. It kills you being a trusted advisor, that position from which you can make the right recommendations. That means it's important for you to keep a professional distance. Don't blur the lines between client and friend. In certain professions, like psychotherapy, for example, they have clear ethical rules that if you follow them, this, this won't even happen in the first place. But for the rest of us with clients, I believe this rule should also be followed. I can tell you that every single time I violated it, I regretted it shortly afterward because my clouded vision hurt my client and it hurt me. So what does this have to do with video marketing? Only, well, everything. For many of us, showing friendliness in our videos is really important in creating the know, like, and trust factor that leads to bringing in new clients. The problem begins when you get lost in the part, like a method actor who can't stop shooting off his gun gun after the director yells cut. Who wants to be that guy? Well, I don't. So I want to offer up a different way of thinking about this if it works for you. So. When it comes to your business, trying to make friends comes from the spirit of people-pleasing, but really helping your clients comes from the spirit of service. Pleasing someone doesn't help them, and it makes you resentful. Pleasing makes you feel like you have to be everything to everybody, which is actually one of the best recipes for disaster for any business. Whereas the opposite of that, finding those exact people you can help the most and focusing all of your attention there is the recipe for success. Pleasers give their souls away bit by bit until there's nothing left. It can even come to feeling like an endless downward spiral because you can't stop yourself from pleasing. Oh, but service, now service, you can choose anytime. Service creates healthy boundaries so you can handle the deepest problems of your clients without taking them on yourself. And finally, service has no limits because it expects nothing in return. You know, there's more, there's way more for all of us to learn about this. The theme of pleasing versus service uh, comes from a blog post by the author Justine Musk. If this idea speaks to you, go check it out. She develops it beautifully. I will say this, though. 
If your business is being weighed down by this pleasing monkey on your back, if you can shake it off, and you totally can, just like that, you'll find such a huge reservoir of untapped energy, you should be able to engineer a pretty fast turnaround. And your videos will project a confidence and trustworthiness that maybe up until now has been muted or, or, or missing. And listen, I'm not, I'm not saying you have this to the extent of it being a big problem, but I think that many of us do have this problem, at least a little bit, myself included. So I'm only suggesting that in the, in the, in the spirit of service that if, that if you hate marketing, and, and if you don't have the confidence to get on camera, look inside and see if there's a little bit of the people pleaser there. And if there is, send it to play with Stevie while the rest of us get back to work helping our clients do the great things that they were sent here to do. And um, by the way, if you've ever grappled with this problem, you're probably not alone. So if you're comfortable with the idea, leave a comment below about how this strikes you or has in the past. And if you found this video helpful, please pass it along to your friends and colleagues. For turning up the volume on your message, I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com.